Hey everybody, so today I am here to show you guys our grocery haul for the next couple of weeks. I'm going to run you through what everybody's going to eat and then also what we're going to have for dinner. So for Mark, his breakfast is going to be his homemade granola bars. For lunch, he's going to have peanut butter and jellies, oranges, apples, and veggies. He said his nuts were getting to be too dry in the summertime, so he's just going to get more fruit. And then for myself, for breakfast, I'm going to have English muffins with cream cheese. Lunch, I normally just eat watermelon and some peanut butter. So watermelon cantaloupe crackers with peanut butter. And my snacks are rice cakes. And then for the girls, they needed almond milk. For breakfast, they're going to have oranges, cereal, oatmeal with berries, and then pancakes. And for lunch, they're going to have grilled cheeses, bananas, crackers and peanut butter, Greek yogurt and peaches. And for snacks, I got them pretzels, peppers, blueberries, graham crackers. And then the extra down here, um, my birthday is going to be within the next two weeks. So for my birthday, we're just going to have a regular dinner at home. But after the kids go to sleep, we are going to watch Black Panther finally. So... I got us some candy to watch that with and then we also noticed that on Sundays when Mark is home we always end up going out to a store and buying a whole bunch of extra food just because we feel like eating crappy and uh, we just decided to just start including that in our like grocery haul so we would buy things and plan for them and just kind of hide them away until the weekend whenever we felt like eating like crap and then pull it back out so I mean I'm sure by some people's standards we typically eat like crap but anyways for our dinner tonight is grocery night so that means Mark and I eat a quick meal he already fed the girls and then we're gonna have chicken and noodles spaghetti and garlic bread chili casserole chicken salad with fries homemade hamburger helper sausage bean stew veggie pesto pizza cowboy casserole stuffed shells dumped chicken and rice and sloppy joes and I was gonna put corn on the cob but Nobody has corn on the cob anymore, so I can't find it, and I didn't end up getting that, but it was just fine. And everything all together here today, it was right within the budget. I spent $110 at Aldi, and I spent $160, $65 at Walmart, so that came out to $175, and I had to order my deodorant off of... Uh, Amazon and that's $15 so came out to be our typical budget and we are doing things a little bit differently we are counting some household things in our grocery budget from here on out so it's a little bit different than what you guys might be used to so I'm gonna start off with Walmart stuff and then down there is all Aldi so um, first things first I did get Sophie her pull-ups and then I also got our paper towels and then the household stuff we needed, Mark needed deodorant, and then I needed dish soap. This is also really good soap if you're washing bottles, pump parts, and then some Tums, and then pregnancy tests, because we're back on that train, and some trash bags. And then our crappy snacks for Sundays are chips. These are our two favorites, these uh, Pocky, I don't know how to pronounce that. But these are so, 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 so good. And then we love Funyuns. And then he wanted Mountain Dew to drink. And then this is the candy that I got for the movie night. And I got our favorite candies, which are these berries. Oh my god, they're so good. Swedish Fish and Whoppers. And then my rice cakes, like I told you guys. I got elbow pasta and spaghetti and pizza crust. Mark's peanut butter. He likes the crunchy kind. Uh, his strawberry spread for the PB&Js, ranch dressing for the chicken salads, tea, which is what we make sweet tea with, and then cream cheese for myself. I got two different ones, strawberry and mixed berry. Two of the strawberry Chobani Greek yogurts. Then we have one single green pepper for a recipe. I got these carrots because I was buying the kind that you have to peel yourself and cut yourself and personally to me they taste better. They're less expensive but the girls just will not really take to them but they'll eat these kind of carrots all day long so that's what we're going to go with. I got some lettuce for the chicken salads. This is three one single pounds of ground turkey. And then I got six of their almond milks. Well, this isn't the kind I typically get them. They normally get the original 60 calorie, I think. I can't remember. But they were all out of it. So I had to get six of these. And then I got some egg noodles for that chicken and uh, noodles night. And these are the best 
best noodles ever. They're a little bit expensive, but honestly, they're worth it. And then some uh, frozen vegetables, couldn't think of what they were, for that pizza night. And then french fries for the chicken salads, potatoes for a recipe, two cantaloupes. And that is everything from Walmart that I got. And like I said, I spent a hundred and, what did I say, sixty dollars on all this right here <laughs> opposed to I got all of this at Aldi for $110 so really goes to show you how much cheaper Aldi can be so this is the first time I'm ever buying Aldi's paper plates I normally get them from Walmart but I noticed that they are cheaper so I'm gonna try them see how they are and the only frozen things I got at Aldi were chicken breast and then also garlic bread and then the other cold stuff heavy cream for a recipe Parmesan sour cream recipe, some cheese slices for the girls grow cheese, and then two things of cheddar cheese also for recipes. Kerrygold is what we typically use as like our spread butter. And then I got blueberries for the girls. And then I got some English muffins, two bags of apples, probably the girls will eat them both. I'm just gonna put those on the floor so I got more room to work here. And then these are their favorite snacks of all time, these pretzel things. This is for on top of the chili casserole. This is for their oatmeal, macaroni and cheese, quick lunches, quick dinners, whatever we need them for. Two things of graham crackers, also another favorite. These are the wheat crackers we eat the peanut butter with. And then this is their cereal that they get. It's basically Aldi's um, Fruit Loops. And then over here, I'm going to do the produce first because it's sitting on top of all this stuff, but I got two bags of the mandarin oranges. They're for both Mark and the girls. And then I got two bundles of their organic bananas. And I'm just going to set those over there so I can get these out of the way. I was running out of counter space, if you couldn't tell. And then I got these nectarines. I was originally going to get peaches. They didn't have any peaches, so I just went with the nectarines, so whatever. And then I also did get some of these sweet mini peppers. The girls, Mark, everybody loves them. Oh, and I also got two big watermelons. And then the rest of the stuff is all canned, basically. Tomatoes, minced garlic, uh, pesto. Their pesto is really, really good. Some ketchup. And then this is diced tomatoes with green chilies. Tomato paste and a can of corn for recipes. Cream of chicken recipe, pinto beans for my chili, sliced carrots and three bean salad for the girls just to eat for dinner one night. Well, as a side. <laughs> Anyways, uh, green beans, peas, and black beans and kidney beans. And then I also have beef broth. I got two of those and I got three of our marinara sauce. This is really, really good marinara sauce. So that is everything. Yes, that is everything for our grocery haul. I was trying to check everything out and make sure I got everything, and I did. So, yeah, that is going to last us for the next couple of weeks. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching.